Hi, I'm Faye Desmoichant with Social Skills, here to teach you the difference between a formal and an informal email. While I was teaching at New York University, I realized it was an extremely important lesson to talk to my students about what constitutes a formal versus an informal email and when we should and shouldn't use formal emails when we are reaching out to people. When you write a formal email, think about writing a formal letter to someone. So you want to use a salutation, dear so-and-so, if it's a professor or if it's a uh, someone with a special title, you'll want to use those special titles. And as you write the email, it should be in proper paragraph form. There should be no abbreviations at all whatsoever. The body of the email should be written really well, just as you would write a letter to someone, like I said. So there shouldn't be any abbreviations, no slang, no acronyms. And as you finish your email, you want to make sure that you properly sign off with your first and your last name. Another really important note is that you use the subject line. So don't leave the subject blank because receiving an email from someone without a subject line is an email that might go unread. So include a subject line, whether it be thank you or whether it be uh, checking the status of whatever it, whatever it is you're checking the status of, make sure that you include a subject line. A formal email never includes things like, hey, what's up, what's going on? You want to make sure that you're as formal as possible. So it's dear Mr. such and such or dear Ms. such and such. Uh, you want to keep a paragraph format. You want to use correct punctuation and grammar. And you want to be sure that you sign off. So sign off with the appropriate sign off kind regards from yours sincerely, yours truly, and be sure to include your first and last name. So those are just a few tips on formal versus informal emails.